said, and it would have gone over the top of the net, but just to slow up the play and prevent further action, Mike Leute grabbed it and hung on. So Mike Leute. As we're just underway here for Team Canada, Dvorak facing off and some discussion going on in the zone right now involving Ganey Robinson and Duque. I think Ganey may have some equipment troubles. At least he's having a word with the referee. I don't think it's equipment trouble because he's not allowed to adjust equipment while he's on the ice. That's a minor penalty for delaying the game. I have a look at the lineup. Did you hear that? He said, I want to take a look at the starting lineup. Now, Scotty may have spotted something. Well, they announced that uh, actually uh, Yaroslav Pozar started at left wing, and he wasn't the player that was announced. And if the, the coach made a mistake and started a man who wasn't on the starting lineup, that is a minor penalty. And uh, Larry Robinson is questioning that fact right now. Uh, Scotty can spot these things pretty quickly. Very, very thorough, of course. I heard it. Okay, okay. Larry's in there saying, I heard it. Wrong start lineup. Bench penalty. Yeah, all right. So Kokraman. Kokraman was announced as being the starting left winger, number 22. But in fact, number 23, Yaroslav Pozar, started the game at left wing. And it is a minor penalty if you start someone who is not written down on the starting lineup on the game sheet. And Scotty Bowman alertly uh, pointed it out. Larry Robinson going across. They have the man advantage for starting the incorrect lineup. Now they're calling over players to the bench now, but the penalty gate is open. There's going to be a penalty call, a bench minor against uh, Czechoslovakia at the 18 second mark. And now the argument is on. Well, the, the coach closest to you is Ludy Buchak. He's a fellow we'll be hearing from later on in the show. Played in the Central Professional Hockey League with Oklahoma City. Speaks excellent English, and I think he was using it a little bit on his Swede right there. Ludy lived with me for a week in 1965. He was sent here by the Czech government to examine uh, programs here in Canada after he had played in the Central League, and he speaks very good English and is an excellent hockey coach. Scotty standing behind the bench taking all this in very calmly. See what you started, Scotty? <laughs> Maybe a different story. Well, the, what happens is when you sign the sheet, you have to sign the sheet as the coach. You sign to endorse that that is your starting lineup. You check your players off. If those players are checked off on the sheet and the coach signs them and he doesn't start that lineup, then there is a minor penalty. Let's see if we're going to eavesdrop here a bit. The cameraman there, I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, there we see Aggie Kuklowitz, who is the sort of unofficial interpreter for all of the teams who speaks very good Slovak, Czech, Russian, English. He's talking with Ludy to make sure there's no mistake in the interpretation. Fans were only 18 seconds into this game, and already all of this is going on. Let's see what happens. The penalty gate is still open. The penalty has been posted. be a face-off outside Team Canada's blue line when this gets straightened up. The referee is pointing to the signature. I'm sure that's what he's pointing to at the bottom because the signature is at the coach's signature is at the bottom of the game sheet and he's been pointing to it. So who is wrong? The team is wrong. You saw it. The team is wrong, he said. This is the same one you made yourself, <laughs> we got a forged list in there? <laughs> well, no, the official...
official one. It doesn't matter what uh, what other list other than the official game sheet. He signed it. That's it. I mean, uh, a lot of times for the coach at the beginning of the game, he's asked to give a list to media people and so on. But the one that counts is the official game sheet. Well, Olsen's going to be a tired man from skating back and forth across the red line from the bench to the timekeeper's bench. Bench penalty. I can't. I uh, can only read on the papers. Do nothing. Bench penalty. Did he say bench penalty? That's what he said. He's giving a, a bench penalty. Slovakia penalty. A two-minute bench minor for starting the wrong lineup. Yep, there you go. It'll come at the 18-second mark. We'll see who will have to serve it. And that one is that the fellow who is not on the ice or the fellow who got on the ice that has to go in. I think you have your choice. on the ice to start the game. I think Mozart is shaking his head is headed for the for the penalty box. Oh Yaroslav Pozar in the penalty bench. Two minute penalty. Team Canada on the power play Gretzky, Perro, Lafleur, along with Zion and Puckbass. Off just outside the blue line and from the base off to the far board. They try to dig it out. That puck jack, he shoots it into the Canadian zone, but coming right back out again is Dion. He backhands it off the board. Fast push knock here is Gretzky. One on two on one, rather, as Lafleur was going in. And the puck is cleared down the ice and is Leut out of his net. Hot bad, sweeping behind the net. Hot bad. And he is checked by Nobe. Good for checking as Nobe moves in, but he's got nobody in front of the net, and he's ridden out of the play by Marcel Dion. Lafleur, popping it back to Perro. Perro, the good move around Nobe. Out to center ice. Dion digs it out. Here's Perro straight up the middle over the line. He faked the shot, gets around the defense, but lost control of the puck. Now it's in front. Knocked down in front of the net by Richter. Here's the shot by Dion. Out of the net is Carol Lang, and he hangs on. We'll have a face-off inside the back zone with one. 10 remaining in the penalty. Well, one thing that typifies Czechoslovakian play, and we see it here again today, when they are short-handed, they don't content themselves with being in a, in a box and staying in their zone, in their own end of the ice. They will chase you all over the place, trying to force you into a mistake. And the same thing with their forechecking. They're not just turning and picking up the wings. They forecheck very, very aggressively, trying to upset the power play. They gamble, of course, but that's their style of play. They force all the time, even when shorthanded. Trotje, Bossy, Gillies, Bork, Robinson, the power play for Team Canada. And Trotje is going to be booted out of the face-off circle, along with Thrall, number 10 for Czechoslovakia. From the face-off, Bork into the corner. Trotje's there. Trotje in front. They jam away. And Gillies poking away. Take a good shot just as he tried to get the shot away. On goaltender, Carl Lang. That's Milan Halupa. against Gillies right at the goal mouth. Take a look puck at it coming there. straight across. Gillies parked in front of the net, trying to tip that puck in, being covered very aggressively by Halupa, the veteran defenseman in front of the net. Rache against Lala on the faceoff. Cleared down the ice. Now a race for the puck is coming out of his own zone as Kokrament, but way out of his net is Leut. Leo just stick handling with it. There's a behind the net for Robinson, and Robinson starts out. Robinson sweeping the center ice to the far side for Trotje. Got it caught up in his skates. It's into the corner. Gillies going in, cleared around the boards and past Robinson and down the ice. The race board again with Lola on top of Robinson. It's flipped over to the far side. Fort. He goes down. Robinson off the boards. It's kept in at the point, but Robinson gets it again. Flips it out to center ice. Trotje on the left side. Padlet shoots it in and takes a good hit from Trotje. Bork at the side of his net. It's Bork coming out. The lead pass at center ice. Trotje to Bossy. Bossy takes a hit just as he crossed the line from Padlet. It's cleared in front of the net. There's going to be a penalty for charging. And that Padlet to pick that one up. Well, he's pointing to Brian Trotje. So it'll be Trotje going in with 16 seconds remaining in the penalty to Pozar. So, barring a further penalty, Czechoslovakia will have a 1 minute 44 second opportunity to use their power play. 
More skaters to four now. Goring along with Ganey and Beck and Potvin. type of hockey game. Already they're hitting each other. Beck, back to Potvin, inside his own blue line. Potvin backing up, leads it off the glass and down the ice, and going back for it will be Dvorak. Dvorak behind his own net, icing called on Canada. Three seconds left, the faceoff will be down in Team Canada's territory. You see up in the corner of your screen, waiting to get back on the ice, Yaroslav Pozar. Just as the puck is dropped, he'll come onto the ice. Taking the draw will be Darius Bushnak. Against Butch Goring. He shipped Denny Botman over to the slot area. Bushnak will try probably to get it back to Pasek, number 21. Well, they throw him and Pasek will take the draw now. Against Bob Ganey. Bushnak goes into the slot area and they back Borshak back to the point. Comes back to Halupa. Halupa shooting it in. It's off Ganey's leg. Goring on the far side. Backhands it down the ice. Out of the penalty box and off his stick is Bozar. He's back in his own zone. Bozak with uh, Ganey right there and he managed to just drop it off for Dvorak. Up to Pasek. Pasek, he takes a hit from Ganey. Goring picks up the loose puck, feeds it into his own zone. Straight ahead, Ganey. Tried to deflect it up to Goring. It's back beside the net and a penalty is coming up again. Well, Denny Potvin, there's no penalty on the play, but Denny Potvin, it was a delayed offside inside the blue line, and when your team has possession of the puck inside there, you don't want to take that puck back because Team Canada had possession of the puck. Now when he takes the puck back, the linesman blows the whistle for the delayed offside, and we have to try to win it from a face-off, and we lost the puck. Duda check from the face-off. Ottawa, a shot right off a leg. Beck backhands it off the boards to the blue line. Diving is middle, and he can't knock it out. Nobody's at the side of the net. Novi trying to find a man in front. The pass is blocked. There's Middleton. He goes down as he's tied up by Richter and it's shot down the ice. Swoboda going after it along with Duque. Swoboda for Czechoslovakia behind his own net. He sets up. Novi sweeps back. That's Novi number six with the puck. Novi. Duque right on top of him. Novi, uh, Novi up the right side. Passes ahead to Richter. Richter's over the line. Novi to his right and it's poked off his stick. Going to be... A penalty called here, I believe, as Horava getting set. The shot is just wide, comes to the far boards, picked off by Svoboda, but he's checked, and as Middleton picks it up, a high-sticking penalty called on Team Canada. Well, what happened there was, coming out of their own zone, you notice the two Czech defensemen dropped the puck back to Milan Novi, and then ran in front of them like offensive guards. That's another thing that's typical of Czechoslovakian play. They love to screen and block, and our players look at that as being an interference call. 32 seconds remaining in the penalty to Brian Truche. The faceoff will be to the right to Team Canada's goal. Now five skaters against three. Canada two men short for the next 32 seconds. Scoring out there. Potvin and Beck from the faceoff. Back to the point for Cudlitz. Cudlitz just working his way in. Cudlitz beating it back. He gives it to Hydrasek. Hydrasek to Cudlitz. He winds up the shot. Good save there by Leutis. He just got his blocking glove on it. Hydrasek. Over for Cudlitz. He moves in. Hydrasek again. Into the corner. Picking it off there is Kukraman. He shoots it off the boards and around to this side. Moving after it is Lala. He's tied up. Cudlitz is there as well. Goring holds it in. Three seconds remaining in the penalty to Trotsche. It comes back to the blue line. Hydrasek to Potvin on the far boards. Trotsche's out alone at center ice. He feeds it off to Goring. Goring's over the line. Stick handling with it. And he is checked off his stick by Kukraman. He's at center ice. Goring again. It's fed ahead for Lala. Goring again against the boards, and he slams it, leaves the puck for Trotsky. He brings it in over the line. 108 remaining in the penalty to Duque. Over the line, Kokerman. Kokerman into the corner. Feeds it back. There's nobody there. Puck is out at center ice. Dvorak. Ganey on top of him. It's off the board. Puttman's got it. Puttman swinging into his own zone. Backhands it out to center ice. Cutlets gets it ahead now. Puttcheck over the line. Back on top of him, and it's poked away from him. Cadlitz at the point. 42 seconds remaining. The puck is at the side of the net. Further play is halted by Mike Leute. Great penalty killing by
by Team Canada, 40 seconds remaining in the penalty to Ron Duguay. Well, Mike Leuk, he made a wise play there, killing that uh, puck off the side of that. Oftentimes, the goaltender, being shorthanded, will move that puck. But you kill it, you get the face off, you get everybody organized, you get fresh troops out there, making sure that they uh, have people there that are not tired to kill the remaining 40 seconds of this Czechoslovakian power play. Well, a big face-off inside in Canada's territory. Trotsky out there, along with Middleton. Robinson, Engblom, the defensive pairing, Milan Novi will center the line. Novi out there along with Richter, and also on the line is Dutacek, the surprise draft choice by the Buffalo Sabres in the first round of the June draft. He has not shown an awful lot in this tournament yet, but he's an 18-year-old. Confident he's going to be a great hockey player. Trotche shooting it down the ice on the backhand. Trotche comes off the ice, Gainey comes back on. So they had Trotche on to do the faceoff honors, and that was all. Now from behind his own net, starting out the lead pass from Svoboda to center ice. Richter there, ahead for Novi, was straddling the line, but just couldn't control it. Now it's backhanded in over the line. Anglo turning, he backhanded blindly off the board. Svoboda gets set, he winds up the shot. Scores! Pass, a blind pass by Engblom along the boards, intercepted, and Czechoslovakia on a power play has gone ahead, one to nothing. Engblom trying to lift that puck out of his own zone on his backhand. I guess it had stopped just inside the line. Kind of a lazy shot coming from the point, but it's low. It's tipped on the way to the net, eluding Mike Leon. But the original play, trying to get that puck out. There you see Team Canada try to cover up in front of their own net. But tipping it from the shot from the point, Czechoslovakia goes ahead one to nothing. Scored by number 19, the Duda Czech. Has got the goal. Ahead now for Lafleur. We'll give you the full scoring in a moment as Hartsburg's got it at his own line. Lane's playing even strength now. A power play goal. There are 11 seconds remaining in the penalty. Here's Gretzky. It's off his stick and down over the line past the loop with Borshak back to get it. Now he's slammed in against the board by Lafleur. Back for Bork, into the corner. Last Perot against the boards on this side. And starting out now, Corbola at center ice. He backhands it in. Out of his net is Leut. Bork stops up behind his net. He'll lead the rush. He can rush that puck now. Feeds it out to center ice, right through everybody. Halupa puts it to the Canadian line. It's back to Perot. Perot trying to fight his way past Halupa. Now Lafleur, he's checked on the play. It's cleared to the line, but Hartsburg has it. Hartsburg to Lafleur. Lafleur batting it ahead, trying to get it to Gretzky. Good checking here by Czechoslovakia. It's cleared over the line. Gretzky racing after it. Gretzky, along with number nine, Borshak. He's behind the net. Kept in, but finally shot to center ice. Here's Lala. Down over the line. Beck stops that play. Middle and covers up. Bork. Bork at center ice. Along with Dion, it's off the board. Dion racing in. He's got a little room. He shoots, and he took it off the pad of Lang into the corner. Middleton, around behind the net. Gare, Dion, number seven for Czechoslovakia is Hydrasek. Hydrasek clears it out to center ice. Down over the line comes Panichka. Panichka stopped on the play. Still inside the blue line. Pokerman, he stick handled it up over the line, and it's called for a faceoff. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. Special scoring on the goal, Dudacek, his first goal of the Canada Cup tournament from Svoboda at 5.22, one nothing. Czechoslovakia leads, that was a power play goal. Now Beck, over to the far side, Pontfan off his stick to Gillies. Gillies at center ice, loses it. Hasek gets it in over the line, but a player was trapped, that was Rusnak. Then we'll have another faceoff outside the blue line. Very high tempo to this early going of this game, Tom. Very high tempo, very aggressive hockey game. Uh, uh, we heard, although we didn't see, the game between Czechoslovakia and the Soviets was a very aggressive, hard-hitting game. Has continued this way at a very fast pace tonight. Well, the entertainment has been very high here so far as well. Trotje now tied up at center ice. Gillies hammered Pasek to the ice. Here's Beck shooting it in, rattled off the boards. Alupa on this side, picking it up, batting it along the board. Beck moves in, then Trotje, he takes a weak shot. Gloved by goaltender Carl Lang, off the board. There's a hard check thrown by Potvin as he moves in, a race for the puck. Pasek in there along with Beck. Beck comes up with a puck. Beck 
Crotche on the left side. Crotche crosses center ice and shoots it in. There's Bossy. Bossy lets it go. Good play. Gillies in front. Bossy. And a, an alert play by Lang in front of the net. Bossy's in there as they try to kick it free. Here's Bossy getting set. Out for Potvin. He's got the good shot, and it's right on. Now Lang hangs on for the faceoff. Very alert, Carl Lang, as we see, stopping that shot at Denny Potvin from the point, but very alert for the stick. Off the edge of the net on Mike Bossy, not allowing them to come out in front of the net. There's the pass to the point, and Denny Potvin, having one of the greatest shots in the National League from the point, hits the goaltender right square in the middle, but an alert Lang with a stick at the side of the net. Quick shot by Duque, off the draw by Goring, and another save by Lang, and another face off to the left of the Czechoslovakian goal. We played eight minutes exactly here in the first period. One nothing Czechoslovakia. Duque again rolls it in front, and Ganey had his back to that one. Behind the net, Goring jammed in there, rolls it out in front, gets it again. Goring trying to get it along the boards. He's checked on the play, and it's back out to center ice. Knocking it down inside the line. Engblom, Engblom over to the far side. Duque trying to catch up to that puck. It took a funny bounce off the boards. Horova shoots it in. Behind the net, Robinson straight ahead for Ganey. Ganey overskated it. Now backhands it to center ice. Oshiva over the line for Richter. Richter gets the boards. He's tied up by Englund. Englund just getting in the way. Puck is cleared around the boards on this side. Goring moves back. Goring, Englund. Englund finally threw that to Richter. Richter behind the net. Duda check. Into the corner on this side for Ganey. Ganey ahead for Robinson, who's got a little skating room. Robinson at center ice. Hits the line. Robinson, the quick shot. Goes in after it. He's in deep. It's batted away. Puck is cleared right to the blue line. Perro nearly hit Duguay with it. Perro knocks it in, but coming out is Richter at center ice for Kroll. Kroll is over the line. It goes off the floor into the corner. Digging it after it is Corbella. Perro along the boards. Chernick. Chernick check. Lafleur's got it. Lafleur to Gretzky. Right through his skates. Down into the Czechoslovakia zone. Alupa clears it right back out to center ice. And it's Raymond Bork. Bork is checked. In over the line. Crawl. He shoots. And he scores. 2-0. Crawl very alertly just picking up that puck when Raymond Bork lost it just at his blue line. We see Bork turning with it. There's Crawl to... Putting that puck ahead of him, going in all by himself, and just rips the shot by the glove hand of Mike Leon. But a great shot. Bork going down, ball all by himself, just rips it. Right by Mike Leon having very little chance on that goal. 2 0 Czechoslovakia. Well, he's a new name. Brown, but he's been in his own league for seven years now. Boy, we're seeing something on this rebuilt Czechoslovakian team. His second goal of the tournament. Here's a shot blocked by Leut. Bork in the corner. Laird straight ahead. Knocked down by Cadlet, but batted back out to center ice. An H out there. He goes down under the checking of Lafleur. Fired off the board. Perot. Hartsburg. Hartsburg over to the far side for Bork. Bork crosses center ice. Backhands it into the corner. Perot going in. Off the boards, Hartsburg. Hartsburg throws the check. Lafleur's got the puck. Clears it across ice, but it's intercepted by Heidrichek. Heidrichek at center ice, down over the line on a two-on-one, but he is bumped around by Bork, and they wind up in the corner. The puck underneath everyone, and it's called for a face-off. Checks leading 2-0. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. Ron Roosh along with Tom Watt at Winnipeg Arena. 2-0. Czechoslovakia. Against the boards now, Beck. Beck wrists it out to center ice. Middleton's there. Middleton jammed against the boards by Pashek. It's cleared by Dion right on the stick of Rushnak. He turns. Pozar overskated it, but Pozar's got it now. Try to clear it in front of the net. Rushnak on the short side, fanned on it. Out in front, quick shot, loose puck. And Leut came up with two saves on the short side. And Tom, I think what we're seeing here is what is done well and served the Czechoslovakians well in this tournament so far, and that's their play in the offensive zone. Excellent board checking. They're using 2-1-2, two, two, two forwards, always on the two Canadian defensemen, trying to neutralize them quickly. They're one high forward, either cutting off the boards or backing up a defenseman who presses down. 2-1-2 two, two, board checking, very aggressive by Czechoslovakia. Buck is down the ice. Halupa. 
Off the board, right to Potvan at his own line. Potvan clearing it straight up to Dion. Dion lead pass, and he couldn't hit Middleton with it. Potvan's got it again. Potvan ahead, Dion off his stick. Beck, Beck hammering it off the board. Middleton hits the line. Dion trailing, but he's offside. And they'll call it outside the face off for at least outside the blue line for a face off. Canada Cup 81 continues in a moment. Face off to Leute's right. Reggie against Pokerman. Puck is dropped back, drops it back for Potvan. Potvan, he's checked very quickly on the play by Pokerman, but there's Gretzky. Gretzky, he has trouble against the boards. His board checking is Panichka. Behind the net, into the corner. Farrow, Lala's back there after it, but Beck beats him to it. They clear it to the point, but not out. Kept in by Heidushek. Now out to Lafleur. Lafleur ahead for Gretzky. Gretzky is hauled down as he hit the line. There'll be a penalty. Gretzky trying to sweep around the defenseman, and Team Canada will have an opportunity here with the manpower advantage. The first goal of the game for Czechoslovakia on a power play. And it'll be Cadlitz going to the penalty bench. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. Wayne Gretzky going around Cadlitz is tripped. Team Canada getting the man advantage with seven minutes remaining in the first period. Gretzky wins the draw. The power play with Dion working the point with Potvan. Gretzky, Perro, and Lafleur. The puck is clear to center ice. Dion back there. Dion backing into his own zone. Dion hanging on to that. Now he gets it off the board for Potvan. Ahead for Gretzky. And he caught it in his skates. Couldn't control it. Now Perro. Perro to Gretzky. Over the line. He turns at the point. Gretzky with that wizardry and stick handling, and that went right through Dion's leg, and it's out to center ice, and we've got a break here with Pozar, and catching up his Potvan to break that up. Perro, behind the net, he drops it off for Potvan. Potvan, the lead pass, Perro's at center ice. Perro, poked away from him neatly by Varsova. Now Perro again, circling back into his own zone, off the stick of Dion, down into the zone, Varsova, Back to get it, Dion rattling it along the glass. He goes right by Lafleur. Now it's Novi. Novi coming up the left side. Novi cutting at center ice. He circles back as the Canadian four checkers faded themselves. Now here's Gillies. Gillies clearing it in off Crochet stick and cleared back out to center ice. The lead pass and Novi's alone. Novi getting set. He shoots. Great save, Liu. In the corner it goes. Richter holds it in. Now it's loose. Bossy. Crochet. Crotche at center ice. Crotche ahead for Gillies. He races in after it. Gillies against the boards on this side, trying to get it back to Hartsburg. He does. It's rattled over to the far side. Robinson going after it. It's cleared down the ice. Hartsburg going back as it comes to Leut. He rolls it around the boards. Gillies. Gillies inside the zone. Crotche ahead for Robinson. Robinson leading the rush. He flips it in, it bounces in front of the net. Brache was breaking in, but he couldn't catch up with it. Hartsburg. Hartsburg swinging at center ice to Bossy. Bossy around the defense. Bossy's got a man in front as Middleton was cutting through, but he couldn't get it to him as sliding on the play was Borshak. Still inside the zone with seven seconds left in the power play. They try to dig it out. It finally cleared down the ice, but it was batted ahead, so there'll be a face-off as the penalty is expired. A face-off in the Czechoslovakian zone. Team Canada's having a great deal of difficulty handling the Czechoslovakian penalty killers when they're coming at you very aggressively. They're playing like men possessed. In fact, I would have to say at this point in the first period, Team Canada's been outskated by a hungry Czechoslovakian team. Well, they came in here as underdogs. I think their coach told everybody he'd be happy to finish in the top four in the regular tournament. Go into the playoffs and see what happens from there. They have done so well. High against the Soviet Union, and by all witnesses, they outplayed the Soviets by a very wide margin. It was a great game for Trejak in that one. Circling with it, Buckets checked off with stick, but Beck is out at center ice. Beck having trouble, now shoots it in. Pass Cutlets at the blue line, going in is Duque, the puck loose in front. Now here's Middleton, he picks it off, goes to the corner with it, but he never had control of it. Gets the boards, he is slammed in there. Now Gare turns around and fires it right on. Lang leaving it behind the net, clears it to the blue line. Hotman keeping it in, there's the shot, but it's blocked at the defense and it's cleared straight up ice. At 
center ice is Panichka. He goes over the line, waits for his mates, gives it to Lala. Lala set, his shot, and hanging on is Mike Leute for a face-off. 2-0, Czechoslovakia leading Canada Cup. 81 will continue in a moment. To the left of Mike Leute, who has been tested considerably in this first period. It could be worse than 2-0. Team Canada being beaten to the puck quite often in this period. Puck is cleared off the boards now over the line. That lets shoot it out. Goring, he's checked. Rustak over the line now, clears it in front. There's a quick shot. Rebound, hit the crossbar, and the puck goes into the corner. Out to the point, the shot's right on, and Leut blocked that one. In against the boards, it goes behind the net now. Goring off the board for Dion. Dion is running interference, let the puck go free, and Robinson's got it. Robinson at center ice, he's checked. Pozar's got it. Over the line, they come again. Rustak. Tries to get set, he's checked by Engblom, he goes down on the play, it's behind the net, hot check. Now behind, they roll it in front of Ganey. Ganey skating to the board, shoots it out over center ice and down into the Czechoslovakian zone. Orshava's back there. Orshava, starting out, good move, past Gretzky. Shoots it off the back of the Fleur's leg, the Fleur backhands it into the corner. Robinson, Robinson, ahead, the lead pass intended for Gretzky. Horshava will go back, fighting Gretzky for it, out in front, and they call it on the icing. And I think Gretzky was onside, and the play beat him to it. Gretzky made a very smart play. He was offside at center ice. He realized that, so he didn't touch the puck at center ice. And then he tried to get up, put on the great hustle to touch the puck on the far end so that the icing would be called off. It looked to me as if he got to the puck first, just made a great hustling play, came up with a puck, but it's called back on the long pass. I guess they're calling it the offside, bring it back inside the blue line. Questionable. Well, we've got Gretzky out there with Perot and Lafleur, Novi, Dudacek, and Richter, the line for Czechoslovakia. On the faceoff, Gorshava at the blue line, working in, clears it in front through the crowd. Backhanded behind the net, Novi's after it, Bork, Hartsburg. Hartsburg as a player goes down, Perot, I think, knocked down Dudacek. Interference is the call, and Canada will play a man short here, and Perot goes on. Very difficult time to take a penalty. Perot down 2-0 with 2 minutes and 53 seconds remaining here. The Czechoslovakian power play coming up, but the Czechoslovakians, in my opinion, have outskated Team Canada in this first period and have forced us into some questionable plays and taking a penalty as we did there. All right, 2.53 remaining in the first period. Czechoslovakia already with a 2-0 lead. Kokrament facing off against Ron Duguay. Face off. Bringing back towards the line is Panichka. Panichka in for Lala. Lala being checked against the board. Beck tried to knock him off the puck and he couldn't. Now Lala goes in there. Beck throws a hard check against the board. Now it's Hadrzejczyk. In for Lala. Lala into the side of the net. Panichka tried to get a shot away, was checked on the play, and it winds up at center right for the minute 37 left in the power play. Starting out now, it is dropped off by Heidusek. Lala on the far side, circling back. Lala had trouble with his balance. Duguay knocks him down. Potvan. Potvan bats it off the boards. Duguay. Middle is breaking, but he elects to send it back to back as they kill off precious seconds here. 118 left in the power play. Hadrzejczyk, Goring, 10-4, checking, doing a fine job. Now, taking it behind the net is Kokraman. Kokraman at center ice. Kokraman working to the line now, clears it around the board. Leut's out of the net, leaves it for Potvan. He shoots it straight up ice, and we've got a break for Goring. Goring all alone, getting set in front. He shoots, oh, scores! Just got across the line. Great effort by Lang, but it just dribbled across the line. A short-handed goal.
Notice Lang went down on the play, and he tried to get it up over him. He couldn't he quite, but it still dribbled across the line. Butch Goring. Buck is inside the zone. The power play is still on. Goring bats it behind the net. After it there is Chernick. Chernick. Robinson. Robinson poking away at it. Robinson as Chernick picks it off. Now Robinson's got it. He clears it straight off ice. 32 seconds left in the power play. A shorthanded goal. Goring from Potvin and Mike Leute. He's earned an assist in this period. He's been hard pressed. Down over the line comes Corbola. Corbola checked by Robinson. The loose puck is taken by Kral. Kral. Halupa. Halupa clearing it in, and it's right off the skate of Bossy. At center ice again, Halupa. Clears it right onto the stick of Robinson. Trotje gets back on side, goes over the line, and uh, I believe it was Trotje who finally, or Bossy, who finally went offside on the play. And 11 seconds left in the power play now. 2-1, Czechoslovakia leading. One second, let's correct that. One second on the penalty to number 11. And there you see him, Gilbert Perot, all set. Faceoff will be outside the blue line, a reminder of the CFL on CTV. Montreal at Saskatchewan. That's coming up tomorrow. And Edmonton at Hamilton on Sunday. Local blackouts uh, in effect. That's on Monday, of course. Edmonton at Hamilton, Labor Day. Montreal at Saskatchewan tomorrow. The CFL on CTV. 46 seconds remaining in the period. 2-1. Czechoslovakia leading Canada. It could be a lot worse, Tom. And I uh, tell you, you talk about a very important goal. We'll see how the history books write this one, but if the Czechoslovakians had scored a third goal, Canada would have been in real trouble. The way Czechoslovakia was playing and gaining confidence as they go through this tournament. Potvin at center ice. Bossy to the line. Trottier gets the pass, and it's called on the offside. Trottier getting a little upset with Svoboda. 35 seconds left in the period. There's Brian Trottier. Trottier and Pac Van, the anchors, a team that has won the Stanley Cup the last two years. to Pot Fan right there. The puck is off the boards. Gillies after it inside the line, but he couldn't reach it. They took a funny bounce past the official. Beck is against the boards, being checked by Duda check. 24 seconds left of the faceoff again at center ice as things are winding down. Duda check, everyone watching him, of course, number 19. Or a portion of your picture. Puck is cleared in over the line. He's got a goal in this game. Puck's off the board. Gillies beats it back for Beck. Out to Trotje. Trotje beating it over the line. Boss, he's alone. He said he scores! 2-2 two, two tie with 13 seconds left in the period. And Team Canada's bench has empty. Well, what a long, good pass that was. That just set Boss in all by himself. The long lead pass, as it was in the first goal. Brian Trottier just spreading the needle to Mike Bossy going across the line. And of course, when he gets by himself, he makes no mistakes. But the setup again, at the first goal, a long leading pass. Then he pot fan on the first goal from inside his own zone. Brian Trottier just over center ice, right between the defenders. Mike Bossy timing it perfectly, going over the blue line, not having the offside. Puts the puck behind the Czechoslovakian goal well, There you see the time, 1947. Boy, they'd have been happy. There's another lead pass, and it went right past Gare and down into the zone. Gare back to get it, but I think icing will be called for the offside. Four seconds left in the period, and the faceoff will come back down into Team Canada territory. Bossy from Trotje and Gillies at 1947 for Bossy, his fourth goal of the tournament. Earlier, it was Goring with his second of the tournament from Potvin and Liut at 1813. That was a shorthanded goal. Two seconds left, one, puck cleared in, the horn goes. The end of the first period. 
Wow, what a period of hockey we've seen here at the Winnipeg Arena. At the end of the first period, the score, Czechoslovakia 2, Canada 2. We'll be back with the first intermission in just a moment. They didn't win a game, lost three and tied just one. Then they were beaten by the United States 4-1 to one in a pre-tournament exhibition over here. And then they came into the tournament and tied the Soviets 1-1 and beat the Finns 7-1. And play is underway right now in a 2-2 tie as Pasek goes over the line, checked in against the boards by Potvan. Out at center ice, it's off the glove of Gillies. Cleared straight ahead, Pozar, Pozar swings away with it, gets the quick shot, it went off the stick of Leut into the corner, Potvan's there. Potvan clearing it around the boards, there's a shot deflected in front, Potvan coming across, another shot deflects wide of the net. Bossy, Bossy ahead, it's center ice now, Trotchian, had he been able to control that, it would have been two on one with Gillies, but Halupa the only one back, Gillies has got it now, it's passed right by Halupa, deep into the Czechoslovakian end. Czechoslovakia coming away with it now. Milan Novi out at center ice for Kokraman. He shoots it over the line. Hartsburg at center ice trying to tip it to Perot from Gretzky. Over the line it comes for Czechoslovakia again. Lafleur comes back. Lafleur swinging away with it. Ahead for Gretzky. Back to Lafleur. He's out over the line with Perot. And it was poked away from him. And Bork has it at center ice. Bork cutting to the far side. Over the line. Shoots it in. It's off the stick of Heidershek. Now Perot. Two on one. He took a shot. But it was deflected. In behind the net, Lala. Lala being checked by Gretzky. Perro's there, back out of front. Lafleur's shot is just wide. Bork at the blue line, clearing it in. Clears in front, Lafleur gets set. Clears over to Perro, and Perro couldn't get the shot away as the puck was in his skate. Heidoshek at center ice, over the line for Kokramet. Now coming back is Gretzky. Gretzky, a lead pass for Bork. It's right on the stick of Horsheba, and a check is thrown as the puck is cleared inside the zone. Well, one thing I like to see early here is the Gilbert Perot, that pass uh, from Guy Lafleur was in his skates. He missed a good opportunity, but you know, when the Czechoslovakian team came all the way back down to the team can end, who was the guy to pick up the trail man? Who was the back checker? Gilbert Perot. And he's such a great offensive player. Coming back shows a little bit of spunk and desire early in the second period. Well, the Gretzky line did not show an awful lot in that first period. They were checked very, very closely. Now Duguay kicks out of the faceoff circle. Goring gets it. Goring to Duguay. Out in front, Gainey winds up the shot and it's chipped over top of the net. Duguay. Duguay into the corner. Gainey chasing after it. In there also is Dudacek. In the corner, behind the net, Gainey out to Robinson. He knocks it down, clears it in front, and it's intercepted in front by Richter. Out at center ice for Dudacek. He's over the line. He drops it, but right on a Goring stick. At center ice for Svoboda. Check is thrown in there by Gainey. Dudacek's over the line. Robinson hits him. Moving up now and cleared to this side for Goring, who just clears it out to Gay Duguay. Duguay to Gainey, and it's intercepted. Richter turning around and coming right back. Richter over the line with Dudacek. Good pass to Dudacek, but nobody in front of the net. And they go into the corner. Robinson ahead for Duguay. Duguay. Gainey on the far side, but he can't reach it as it's chopped right back in by Svoboda. Svoboda again at center ice. Clears it in. Englom having trouble. It's tied up his corral on the play. It's third of the line, not out. And Robinson circles his own net, has to chase it in the corner. Robinson fighting his way. Can't get out of the zone. You see that conditioning of the Czechoslovakians. There's the quick shot. And it's steered into the corner by Liu. Now Robinson. Robinson off the boards. Gainey, he's checked against the boards. Scoring, Gainey, back to the point, it comes, Svoboda, flips it in the corner, Liu gets in the play himself as he flips it along the glass. Out to the blue line it comes, kept in, the shot, it's steered into the corner. Now chopped off the boards and out to center ice, Svoboda's got it at his own line. Svoboda straight ahead, intercepted by Englund, he feeds it straight ahead, he's on. With Middleton, two on one, and here's Duguay's shot, right on, and it's cleared into the corner. Duguay. Middleton. Middleton goes down. The puck is cleared around behind the net. Dion after it in the corner. Dion chopping it back for Duguay. He can't touch it. Horsheva around the boards. Potvan turns, fires. It's right on. An easy save for goaltender Carl Lang. It's out in front and cleared down the ice. Potvan will chase it. Back into his own zone he comes. Potvan back. Back ahead for Dion to Middleton. Middleton breaking in front of the net. Middleton said he shoots the rebound. Loose in front and gathered in, it's still loose. They score! In a pile up in front of the net, they score! Pierre was there, Dion was there. I don't know who got it, but Team Canada's bench is empty again. Dion, I'm sure, had the goal. He just kept digging in that loose bucket. It wasn't hell.
held. It appeared to be held in front middle, getting the first shot. Then the Czechoslovakian defenders coming as the puck is laying just on the goal crease, but it's not tied up. Dion still working at it, hitting the goaltender and going behind him. Marcel Dion putting Canada ahead, but keeping working. The pass going through. Middleton has the good opportunity all by himself, tries to get it in. Then you see the defenders go all the way by the two-team Canada offensive men. Dion comes around the net, keeps pushing away, keeps working. The puck going behind the Czechoslovakian goaltender. Well, the action really picked up in even further here in the early going of the second period. Canada has taken the lead. I can't believe the pace. The pace oh. early in the second period is amazing. On the face off, back in over the line, cutting in from the far side is Pozar. That looked offside to me, but the puck is behind the net. No whistle on the play as Potman fires it off the boards and down the ice. Going back for it will be Dvorak. He touches and icing will be called here, and the faceoff will be down in the Team Canada zone. 3-2 Canada. Canada Cup 81 continues in a moment. Key line out there. Perot along with Lafleur, the point man. Bork, Hartsburg. Kretzky facing off, gets the draw. Lafleur, and his shot is blocked at the defense. Goes right up as he wound up. Pozar at center ice. Pozar working to the line. Good check made there at the defense by Hartsburg. Back to get it. Borjak in his own zone. Halupa on the far side. The check made by Lafleur. Good effort. The puck comes in. Lafleur made that play happen. Now Borjak coming out of his zone. Beats it out to center ice for Pashek. He's down over the line. The drop pass cleared into the slot. They get set a shot. It's loose in front of the net, and Team Canada comes away with it. Gretzky at center ice with Bork. Gretzky's over the line. Bork is breaking. He gets the pass in front for Lafleur. And Lafleur couldn't put his stick to it. Now Perro comes across. Pashek just ducked away from that check. Puck is cleared back in and laid offside as bringing it to center ice will be Halupa. Halupa cutting across ice with Perro right on top of him. Halupa is jammed in against the board. Now straight ahead. Over the line, Gretzky. He dropped it back. It was intended there for Hartsburg. He's got the puck now. Hartsburg. Turning, beating it off the boards. He's tied up by Pozar, but there's Duguay. He shoots it in, digging in his Ganey. Alone in front of the net is Goring. He takes it behind. It goes around and up to the point. Czechoslovakia again. Check thrown by Duguay. Englo. Englo tried to clear it in. Duguay will try. And it's cleared into the corner. Halupa back there. Halupa straight ahead. Stopped by Robinson at the point. Back out to center ice. It went right behind Pokraman. Now here's Duguay. Backhanding it in. Borjak behind the net. Ganey's there. Watch out for the collision. Halupa. Now out at center ice for Panichka. Panichka tried to drop it through Pokerman. Pokerman had to go through his skates. Cutlets at center ice. The crowd is really excited here as they're seeing some of the best hockey you're likely to see anywhere as icing is called. And it'll be brought back into the Czechoslovakian zone for the faceoff. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. Rocky to face off against Novi, Czechoslovakian territory. Novi out there with Duda Czech and Richter from the face off. Rocky trying to get loose behind the centerman of Czechoslovakia. The puck is still loose inside the zone as Richter goes down. Back to the point and the quick shot taken from the point by Beck. Kept in by Potvin. He wheels and fires at Bossy on the far side. Out in front, Gillies took a shot and it was blocked by Horsheva. Now on the far side behind the net. Bossy, Bossy out in front, Richter intercepted, out at center ice, Beck, Potvan, Potvan, shooting it back in again, it's gloved by Long, he leaves it, it's passed right onto the stick of Gillies, now here comes Czechoslovakia at center ice, leading the rush is Duda check. oh, he slammed it against the board by Beck, now against the boards on this side, Potvan, Beck, Beck ahead, Trottier, Ahead for Gillies. He couldn't knock it down. Going back forward is Svoboda. He golfed it off the boards. Out at center right, Marcel Dion. Dion clearing it to the line, and it hopped over the glass. Another face-off with 6.37 remaining in the second period. Canada leading by one, three to two. Both teams are making frequent changes here because of the pace. They're not leaving it out too long. 35, 40 seconds. Scotty Bowman, Al McNeil making sure that they don't have any tired hockey players out there so that they can contend with the type of hockey game this is tonight. What type of hockey game is it? Incredible. We're really seeing something here tonight. Something very special. Crawl down the line now. He gets hooked as he hit the line by Bork. Chernick 
into the corner. Now Gare. Gare had trouble with the referee. Now clears it out over center ice. Dion racing down. Lang is going to have to come out and touch it. Flips it into the corner. And Dion is rubbed up against the board. Hadushek coming out at center ice. Intercepted by Dion. Gives it to the middle and ahead for Gare. Gare over the line. But coming across was Chernick to make a good check on the play. Corbella over the line. Crawl. Crawl takes a shot. And it's wide of the net. Crawl against the far boards. Now he's checked. Hartsburg. Gets it along the boards, out to Gare. Gare, leading the rush himself at center ice, shoots it in. It's cleared straight back up by the goaltender. Heidershek's got it. The crawl, crawl at center ice. Crawl checked from behind by Gretzky, still has that puck. Comes over the line, bounces it in on Leute. He goes behind the net, and Bork has got it. To Robinson, ahead. He takes a shot. It's behind the net. Gare. Gare. Flipping it to the blue line to center ice. Orsheva. Orsheva trying to get set. Gets it over to Dudacek. But then he's checked by Gare. And the long lead pass for Dion just popped over his stick. And Richter's got it. Moving up to Boboda. Boboda to the line. The shot. And it's wide of the net. And Bork's got it in the corner. Ahead. At center ice for Gare. Or Middleton to Dion. Dion had trouble controlling it. Gets set, and the shot just missed the far post. Hartsburg, Middleton, back 
to Hartsburg. Off the board. Kubota. He shoots it in. Hops off the backboard and comes straight out. Fort, a long lead pass for Middleton off his skates and down into the zone. Canada changing on the go as Middleton goes in deep. Duguay's there and he'll track it down at center ice. Duguay. Deep in his own zone. Overskated it momentarily. Stands in there now. I'll let those guys get it in four check. He stumps on the play. No penalty. Robinson. Fans calling for one. Cleared along the boards. Hydrasek is cleared outside the line now. Chernick over for it. Two Cudlets. Cudlets. Chernick. Chernick straight up the middle to the line. Fakes the shot. Drops it. And then backhand shot taken there by Corbella. Off the board. Gainey. Oh, what a collision at the blue line. And the puck went free out to center right. Hydrasek. Both up and both skating. Good hard collision at the line. Canada is leading 3-2. 154 left in the period. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. Well, Wayne Gretzky's out there along with Perrault. Cadlett's just pressing down. That's part of the four-checking unit. The defenseman likes to come off that blue line. And Bob Gainey trying to take that pass off the boards. Defenseman pressing down had a good shot of Maybe a little bit of a charge there. Gretzky, Perro. What a period Perro has had. What a period this line has had. They've been dangerous after a very quiet first period. Gretzky behind the net kicks it to Lafleur. Lafleur spun around on the play. He goes down on the checking by Pozar. Puck is underneath them. It'll be called for a face off to the right of the Czechoslovakian goal. No penalty on the play. Fans thought there should be. I didn't think there should be. Both going for the puck. Hudson's Bay rules right now. Yeah. Canada on the power play. Third period underway. The puck is cleared into Team Canada territory. Potvan out there. Working the point position. Bossy is on a line with Gretzky and Middleton right now. The puck is cleared in. Bossy in deep. Gretzky trailing behind the net for Middleton. He'll look for a man out in front. Gets it to Gretzky to Middleton. He gets a weak shot away. And Locke covers it up and holds for a face off. Seven seconds left in the penalty. Well, you can see a Team Canada wants to get Gretzky behind the net where he makes those great plays. They tried early. Czechoslovakia playing it pretty smart. As soon as Wayne Gretzky gets behind that net and tries to set up, as we've said before, they chase him. They chase always. They're not going to stay in their box and be very disciplined. Let them thread the needle with those passes. They're going after him. Now it's Gretzky, Lafleur, and Perro from the faceoff. That's Lafleur from Botvan, but uh, Novi intercepts and clears it down the ice. That will kill the penalty. Botvan goes back to touch it behind the net. Botvan. Beck. Beck starting off. Off the board for Lafleur. Lafleur racing down in over the line now. Orsham is number four. But back to cover up was Malupa. Out in front, here's a chance for Potvan. He wheels and fires it loose in front of the shot wide. Now Gretzky trying to get it out in front. He does. Lafleur to Gretzky in the corner. He lost his balance. And the puck is clear to the point. Beck keeping it in. Into Gretzky. Lafleur working behind the net. That's Porsche by number four. Now against the boards and starting out is Dudacek. Dudacek. Center ice. Over the line. Stopped by Potvan. Potvan at center ice. Cutlet. Backing up, feeds it straight ahead. Good pass, but Richter couldn't reach it. Duda check inside the line. Perro coming back, takes the puck. Over to the far side. Hot band. And it's called the late offside, I believe, on the play. And Team Canada will make a change. 123 gone in the period. 3 2 Canada. Well, I think it's a tribute to the Czechoslovakians. You know, not only have they lost a lot of their veteran players that have moved on to play in Europe and have retired. We all know that they've lost a lot to defections, and they're in the National Hockey League. Their team has really been decimated, but a small country with great hockey organization and a great hockey background are able to come back, bounce back after having a veteran team and having a lot of people leave their program to come up with a hockey team like this to put on a show tonight. Well, it's something we learned from that. In the whole country of Czechoslovakia, there are just seven covered rinks, seven indoor rinks. Boring takes a good hit against the board. Hydrasek. Making that check as Robinson picks it up at center ice. Clears it in. Duguay on the far side in the corner. Flipping it in behind the net. Ganey. There's a hit by Duguay. Moving in and scoring. And he climbed up on against uh, Panichka. And it's called. The face off will come back down inside. Czechoslovakia territory. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. Number 18 for Czechoslovakia. 
taking a face off. He's from Slovan Bratislava. That's the team where the Sosny brothers played. Just three years ago, that team was number one in Czechoslovakia, won their national championship. Without the Sosnys, all three of them last year, they finished in the cellar of their league and faced relegation to the second division. Rusnak down to the line. Cleared out in front, good play, but a good defensive play there by Rick Middleton as the puck comes to center ice and it's Gare. Three on two, over the line, and it got all messed up on the right side as they got a little too close together, both Dion and Gare. Now in over the line, offside is Pasek. Face off outside the blue line of Team Canada. Rusnak picking himself up, uh, made a great play really at the line. He couldn't regain his balance. Fell across the line and of course was caught offside inside trying to turn around and create the three on two opportunity when it was a three on two the opposite way team canada both men going to the same side were not able to complete the three on two the puck coming back offside at the line puck is cleared behind the net mike lee out there leaves for robinson robinson to lafleur lafleur to gretzky he can't reach it it's all the way down the ice they'll be icing here it's back to get it will be Svoboda. And it's waved off as it's off against the boards to center ice Robinson. They rule that he could have touched it. Anglo moving up, fine, found a hole and shot it in. Perro digging in. Perro in behind the net, throws the check on Horsheva. Off the boards. Now Robinson anticipated that beautifully but couldn't control it. Anglo along the boards. Horsheva inside his zone. Ahead, Novi at center ice. Richter's over the line, got some room, gets set in front of the net. It's loose and down goes Leon and he's got it. You couldn't come much closer than that. Richter turning on the speed, going to the outside, trying to cut on his backhand, going around Larry. Not as far in front of the net as he probably would have liked. The puck just being loose for a moment and the defender shoving it underneath Mike Leon to kill the play. But Richter showing a good turn of speed, going to the outside, coming back to his forehand in front of the net. Well, you're as big as Mike Leute, you don't get an awful lot of room, and then maybe size had a lot to do with that, along with his, of course, tremendous reactions. Covered up in the goal mouth, and the linesmen say they'll take that again, not doing it fairly. Kevin Collins, the American linesman. The referee is Dag Olson from Sweden. Bossy Van Hunnen, the other from the face off is tipped to the line but not out by Bossy. Now Potvan. Potvan starting out. Slowly working up to the line. Gets it again. It's stopped there. Kokrament's getting set. His shot. Right off the face mask. Another shot. They score. Leo took the first one, I believe, off the face mask. The long rebound as Leo couldn't control it. And it's a tie hockey game. Kokrama, who was knocked down inside the line, steals that puck just inside the blue line. The first shot. Handcuffs Mike Leut, goes up high, Korkamont coming through, gets all kinds of time to wind up, gets the second opportunity. You can't give any of these players the second opportunity. The first shot hits Mike Leut high, he has to straighten up on the shot, loses his bounce, hangs in there. Korkamont having all kinds of time on the second opportunity. Korkamont uh, was in a little bit of a wrestling match after the draw, stayed inside, he's lost his helmet for he was in the wrestling match with Brian Trache. Ties it up for Team Czechoslovakia when he gets the second opportunity. Beck with the puck out at center right. Here's Bossy. Trache catching up on the play. Bossy steps uh, into it and fans partially as he was being checked by Horsham on number four for Czechoslovakia. 3-3 three, three with eight minutes gone in the third period. Kukrama unassisted. His rebound came at 7.47. Trottier taking the draw against Kral from the faceoff. Bossy trying to kick it up onto his stick. Finally, it's cleared up to center ice by Korbola. Potvin rattling it off the glass. Out behind the net, Carl Lang. Hard check by Trottier, and down goes Svoboda behind the net. But Czechoslovakia coming away with it. Kernick at center ice. Potvin rams him in against the boards. It's cleared in front, and Beck fighting off Korbola behind the net. Beck battling for it. Still fighting in there, and finally it's held in, a face-off in Team Canada territory. Canada 3, Czechoslovakia 3, Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. 11.34 remaining in the hockey game. Darius Rushnak taking the face-off against Ron Duguay. His 
drops. Duguay fighting for it in the face-off circle. Quick shot that's wide of the net. And Ganey goes after it in the corner. Drops it back for Hartsburg. Over to the far side. Starting out now. For center ice, that's Raymond Burke. Over the blue line for Goring. Goring shooting it in. Ganey digging in after it. Borjak back there. Comes right to Duguay. Behind the net for Goring. Goring trying to shovel it in front. Turning with it and starting out is Rusnak. He's checked from behind by Goring. It comes to Duguay. Duguay trying to slip it through to Goring who was breaking for the net. It was intercepted and at center ice is Pozar. He stopped on the play. Fort clearing it to an open wing. Goring digging in after it. Pozar on top of Goring. The puck goes to Dvorak. Dvorak is slammed in against the boards. It cleared out in front. Fort goes after it on the far side. Fort clearing it in front. Scores! No goal! No goal. They say Ganey was in the goal free. judge when we watch this again, but I can tell you this, that was a great play by Raymond Ford. He turned around, taking the pass off the boards. Watch how he feels the puck. Shoots it all in one motion, and the puck was clean in the net. I don't know whether the ruling was that there was a man in the crease. The, the net seemed to jump up a little bit in the collision of the net. Whether he ruled that the net was going off in pins, or, I can't understand that. Get a better view here, Tom. Check throw by Ganey. Oh, watch Ganey hit go for the net. Bork took the puck off the boards. Certainly skates through the crease, but you're allowed to go through the crease. He wasn't standing in the crease, and he was knocked off the edge. The crease is anybody's territory. Anybody can go through that crease. You can go in to get a loose puck, too. You can't stand in the crease to interfere with the goaltender, and he didn't do that. A tough break for Team Canada. Bork making just a fine play. That puck, he didn't wait. When that puck came off the boards, did a little spinorama to his forehand, shot off from the face off Engblom and his pass is intercepted by Richter Richter to the line he's checked puck is back out of center right Novi just feeds it back Orsheva Orsheva shooting it in a high flip shot whacking at it is Robinson there's a quick shot Leo juggles it then holds on face off to the right of the team Canada goal 10 30 left in the hockey game a 3-3 three -three tie Czechoslovakia has tied it up here in the third period. Milan Novi out there with Dudacek and Richter. Marcel Dion taking a draw for Canada. Englo in the corner. Poked away from him. Novi trying to get it out in front. Robinson blocked that. Now Novi again. Robinson again blocked it. Robinson battling with Novi. It's cleared out in front. There was nobody there. And Gare picks it up on the right side. Gare. He's got middle in it up. Out at center right, Dion digging in after it, touching it back there is Halupa, and it's called on the icing. And back into Team Canada territory for the face-off. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. Well, the fans are starting to clap and chant and cheer here at the Winnipeg Arena. Gretzky will face off against Kukramant. in the face-off circle. And now they're going to wave Gretzky out of there. And Perro will take the draw. Tell me, who takes the worst draw, Gretzky or Perro? Usually a centerman. Won by Czechoslovakia. The shot is wide. The rebound is slipped through the goal mouth. After it is Lala. Lala goes down on a check from Beck. And it comes to Perro, who tried to send Lafleur away. It rolls all the way down the ice. Racing after it is Heidersek. He gets after it. Cleared around the boards. Here comes Perro in front. He rolls it in front. And then tried to hop over Cadillac, who was trying to block the shot. And good. Lala comes back. Over the line. He's checked. It's back out at center right. Here comes Gretzky. Two on two with Perot. Gretzky over the line. Perot going for the goal mount. The bouncing puck is cleared down the ice. A race for it. Lala along with Beck. Beck fighting off Lala. And it's called on the icing. And Lala doesn't believe. Beck cuts that puck first. I don't believe it either. I thought Lala's skate got to the puck first. He showed a great burst of speed, a lot of hustle, as we saw earlier with Gretzky. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. Croce all set to face off against Norbert Paul. On the face off, loose there, comes back to Hartsburg at the point. His shot is blocked. He gets it again, beats it into Croce behind the net. Gillies is there. Gillies out in front. It's loose out in front. Bossy fires! And it's blocked by Lang. Now it's clear down the ice past Bossy 
on the far side. Bork will don't go down to get it. Bork getting set. Bork checking on the play. Corbola. Corbola managed to poke it to Svoboda. Svoboda rolling it in front. It comes to Bossy on the far side. Bossy ahead for Gillies. Bossy gets it again. Bossy rink wide. Trotje. Trotje. He is over the line. Trotje, when he got that pass, was standing still. And it caused it offside. Well, really, there's been great goaltending at uh, both ends, but really, I think that uh, Lang in the end for Czechoslovakia, especially this period, Team Canada came out like gangbusters early in the period, had a number of great opportunities. Gretzky once just off the side of the net, and really, uh, early in this period, he held him in there, and uh, then Czechoslovakia comes back with a goal, and then there's a disputed goal, playing great goal for Czechoslovakia along. Borshak in the corner, it's checked away by Goring. Goring to Duque, out in front, gate, he shoots, he scores! Puck inside the line, foot scoring, pushing the puck on it, comes right out to Gainey in the high slot. He doesn't waste any time shooting the puck all in one motion. But the real work being done by Goring inside, four checking again, being an important part of the game. Just going it into the slot, Duguay setting it up. Gainey coming through, shooting all in one motion. Team Canada going ahead here at a very important point in the hockey game. 8.42 left. Team Canada goal. Out in front, the puck is loose. After it is scoring, Goring had it right up his stick. He goes against the boards. We'll give you the official scoring in a moment as Engel. Ahead, out at center ice off. Duguay's stick turning and coming right back in again is Richter. Ahead for Novi, the backhand shot. Kicks straight out to Robinson. Robinson, out at center ice. Duguay's after it. Kadlet, number eight for Czechoslovakia, shooting it back in. Leut's there. Off the boards. They bat it right into the slot, and Ganey's there, three on two. Ganey with Duque and Goring, and he dropped it back for Goring, who was cutting the other way. Now back over the line is Richter. Richter, clearing it in front, and tied up on the play by Potvin was Novi. At center ice, it's Ganey, ahead. Dion chasing it in the corner, that's Gare in the corner. Gare behind the net, being checked in there by Svoboda, and it's fired off the boards and down the ice, a race for the puck. Here's a chance for Czechoslovakia as the shot is taken by Panitska. Now Middleton. Middleton to Dion. Dion with Gare. Dion stops up against the board. Clears in front and Middleton breaking up the middle. Had a chance and it rolled off his stick. Beck in against the board. Lala's there. Beck gets it and rattles it right back in. 7.21 remaining in the hockey game. Middleton. It's deflected up into the crowd. 7.16 left now. Canada leading 4-3. to three. Canada Cup 81 will continue in a moment. Has given Canada a 4-3 lead. His first goal of the tournament. Duguay and Goring assisting at 11-18. 4-3. Canada leading. There's Perro in for checking as the puck is cleared along the board. Can't take it away from the referee. And finally it's cleared down into Team Canada territory and Bork has it. Bork circling. Fanned on it under the board checking of Prowl. Harrell, Harrell rattling it off the boards to center right. Cadillac had Gretzky lined up, but rolls loose into the Czechoslovakian end. Hydrasek out to crawl. Crawl kicks it over the line. Gretzky's got it. Gretzky circling back again. Ahead, intended for Perrault. He had his back to the play. Chernik's in. Lafleur covers up as Bork makes the check. Lafleur looking for that man out at center right. Now stands back. Gives it to Hartsburg. Bouncing it out to center ice, Gretzky, he's alone. Gretzky going in, and it rolled off his stick, is coming back to check him slightly with Dvorak. Now turning, Cudlet. Cudlet out to center ice, but Englund comes right back in with some ice. He gets in front of the net, but it's checked away from him by Dvorak. Now Gretzky out in front, out to the blue line for Gillies. His shot rolls into the goal mound. Off Bossy skates, down goes Lang, and it's held for a face off. Intense pressure here, and every play now is so meaningful. Kept inside the blue line by Gillies. He makes that shot. It goes off Bossy skate, and Crow almost knocks or Lang almost knocks it in his own net going down. But Gillies stopping the puck, just getting the quick shot. 
Bossy coming around from behind the net, almost deflects the puck underneath the Czechoslovakian goaltender. And I'm sure Scotty Bowman would be just as happy if the pace slowed down a little bit with 6.04 remaining and a one-goal lead. Dump the puck in, gang. Cover. Make sure you never get outmanned at your own line. Frequent face-offs. Get the quick changes. Don't make it so exciting. <laughs> Hard on broadcasters, too, Tom. Trottier taking the draw against Brusnak. Out to the blue line. Robinson set. Feeds it through. But it didn't get all the way to the net. It's Vorjak on the final line of defense. Made the block on it. Now inside Team Canada territory. They try to roll it in front. Good solid check. Now Fossey out in front. They shoot. Up on his legs is Leon. He made a second save. And it's Robinson. And it hops out over the blue line to center ice. And Fossey's got it. He races down to the line. And he's hauled down by Dvorak. Coming right back. Czechoslovakia at center ice. In over the line. It's Pasek. Around the boards it goes. On this side, Rusnak. Getting it in front, Richter. He's checked. Robinson lost sight of it. Now Ganey on top of it. And Ganey comes out. A lady lead pass for Duque. He's into the corner, along with Horsheba. Horsheba picks it up. Czechoslovakia changing. Novi's there. Puck is cleared out to center ice and down into Team Canada territory, where Leut leaves it for Beck. Beck, ahead for Ganey. Ganey kicks it out to center ice as he lost control of it. Now Beck moves up. Ahead, Svoboda, clearing it right back in. Hot band. Denny Potvan straight ahead, and it's intercepted at the line by Svoboda, but deflected over top of the net. Beck after it in the corner now against Novi. Out in front, it's deflected to the blue line. Svoboda gets it in front, shot, scores! Dudacek, I believe, has got the goal, and it's all tied up with 4.39 remaining. Well, Denny Potvan, he made the long, great pass to get Team Canada back in the game, but he wished he hadn't made this one. Trying to get the puck out in a hurry. Kept inside the blue line right off to do the check off the side of the net. Shoots all in one motion behind Mike Leut. The puck trying to come out. Pushed out at the blue line, kept in. Dudacek doesn't wait. He's off the side of the net. First round draft choice of the Buffalo Sabres. Puts that puck behind, tying the game up for the Czechoslovakian team. One shot, quickly, off the side of the net. Danny Gare from the faceoff. Bork shooting it in. After it is Middleton. Middleton going in against the boards with Cadlets. It's cleared out to center ice. Knocked down by Raymond Bork. To Hartsburg. Hartsburg to the line. Fighting off the check there of Panichka. Still has that puck right to drop it back for Middleton. It was intercepted, has cleared out to center ice. Bork's got it. Bork crossing the center line, shoots it in. Digging it after it is Middleton. Middleton in front, and it's just cleared away by the defense. And there's going to be a charging penalty handed out to Czechoslovakia. Well, an interesting call, Tom. Not only are they getting the charging penalty, I think they may be called for now. Uh, a misconduct penalty at the same time the official the official indicating at the at the box you have to charge behind the net the original call by referee Olson but then uh, the Czechoslovakian players complained and it's either a misconduct or or maybe a, a second uh, unnecessary uh, uh, penalty another two minute penalty I'm not sure but there was a second call when he went back over to the box we'll wait and see God lets a veteran. Well, seems like a veteran. Let's get the goal by Dudacek that tied this hockey game up. Dudacek is second goal of the game and of the tournament from Svoboda at 15:21. The penalty for charging to Cadlets at 15:57. And Canada on the power play, and there's. Two penalties been handed out with 4.03 remaining. So, barring a further penalty, it'll be also to Kukraman. Two of them going off. I don't believe this. Well, the referee indicated right off the bat, apparently one of the Czechoslovakian players said something to the official because he, he indicated right off the bat, he made the tee with his hand, uh, that it was uh, unnecessary... Uh, Conduct on their part, either he swore at him or unsportsmanlike. 
And the second Czechoslovakian player is going off with 403 remaining. Tom, I, you know, it's great for our guys, but that kind of a penalty would never be called in the National Hockey League in a game like this. Not in the National League. No way. And uh, really, it's a shame, but here we go anyway. Bossy. Bossy kicks it out to the blue line. Canada playing with two-man advantage. Potvin winds up, gets it again. Potvin. Potvin getting set, feeds it through. Bossy puts it in front. Perro tried to turn around with it. Now gets it back to Bossy, back to Perro. Perro looking for a man at the point. Can't control it. Coming out now to center ice is Novi. He circles back. Novi, he is tied up. Perro throws a check against the boards. And now here comes Lafleur with Gretzky. Gretzky to the line. Gretzky going to the far board. Gretzky getting set over for Potvin. That big shot now, but he doesn't take it. It's the defense covered up. Now over for Lafleur. Lafleur to Potvin. Back to Lafleur. Here comes the shot. It's deflected away. Potvin. Lafleur. Lafleur into the corner. Gretzky. Gretzky in front. Potvin shoots, and he shot it wide. Now Bossy's after it. He's tied up on the play and has cleared down the ice with 54 seconds remaining in the two-man advantage. 2.53 left in the hockey game is Lafleur starting up ice. Lafleur's over the line. He's checked on the play, and the puck is cleared down the ice again. Leut leaving it behind his net. Potvin, Team Canada changing. Potvin starting out ahead for Middleton. Middleton at center ice. He's checked, but the puck is still inside the zone as Bork clears it around for Gillies. Back to Bork. He can't reach it. It'll go out to center ice, and Middleton will pick it up. 23 seconds left. Middleton. Starting back in again. Middleton. Middleton. Great move. Cutting for the net is Gillies. Middleton shoots. Gretzky. Out in front. Gillies. Gillies couldn't handle it. It's covered up by a player, a defenseman. And are they going to call it? Yes, they are. That was a very bad penalty. They had nearly killed the penalty. 15 wrong blocking. No question of the penalty this time. While he did, he, he fell down. It's real questionable after the other call, but there, he did uh, fall on the puck, and he pulled it underneath him. It's acceptable to fall on the puck to kill the play, but watch when it comes loose. He pulls the puck right underneath his body. When it's loose, reaches out, pulls it underneath him, and he's called for delaying the game. You can't do that. You can fall on the puck, but you can't pull it underneath your body. Had he pulled it underneath his body and held it in the crease, only a few inches in front, it would have been a penalty shot. Well, two minutes for holding the puck. Well, he put his hand on top of it. You just can't do that sort of thing. It was interesting early in the two-man short for Team Czechoslovakia. The three players that Coach Bukac had on the ice, Milan Novi, Halupa, Dvorak, the three veterans from the 1976 Canada Cup. He went with his experience, and they did a job for him early when killing that two-man penalty. All right, Canada still with a two-man advantage. The penalty to Svoboda, won't start until the others have expired. In the face-off now, uh, they tie it up in the face-off circle, Gillies, Gillies falls, the puck is in the corner, now it's out, Bossy, Bossy out to Robinson, Robinson winding up, clears it in front, it's deflected right in there, Trotje flips it high in the air, Bossy goes after it. Now the two players are back on the ice, Canada has a one-man advantage, back to the point for Robinson, over for Potvin, his shot picked out far board Potvin Robinson winding up again and the shot is off the leg of Codlet and there's going to be a holding penalty called and I believe well let's see who it's going again it may be going against Gillies and that will even it up well that is the even up call uh, uh, the official getting very excited here there was a melee in front of the net Achilles, as he does so often on the power play, positions himself in front of the net, tries to screen the goaltender, draw a defender to him, forcing the play man-to-man, -man, create havoc on that doorstep. He was doing it, two players went down, and I guess he was grabbing the player and something, but he called for holding in front of the net. We remind you at this point, this program is copyrighted strictly for the private use of our audience. Any reproduction, retransmission, or exhibition of this game without the express written permission of the CTV Television Network and Harkov Consultants Limited is strictly prohibited. The final minute and 38 seconds. Teams even strength now. Middleton's over the line. Middleton.
coming in to make the check is Cudlitz. Cudlitz circling the net. He starts out at center right. Cudlitz leading the rush. Down over the line, trying to go through the defense. Robinson tied him up. Potvin picked up the loose puck. Potvin, stick handling in front of his net, got the pass away to Robinson. Out to Trottier. Trottier shooting it in. Middleton digging after it, along with Hudersek. Hudersek. Clearing it out over center ice and down the ice. Going back for it will be Bork. This will be icing. With 1.04 left, a big faceoff coming in the Texas-Slovakian end. Well, Scotty Bowman will try to get his best faceoff man out there. They got four Goring out there along with Ganey. Hartsburg and Bork. There's the time, 1.04. Scotty looked like the tallest man in the ring. Put his broadcaster through a mill tonight. 104 left. 4 4 time. What a tremendous hockey game this has been. Four of them. Horsheva. To this side for Dvorak. Out at center right, Hartsburg. Hartsburg over for Goring. He's down over the line with Ganey. Goring kicking it into the corner. Ganey heading for the area in front of the net. And a great effort by Goring, but he lost it at the last instant. Now out at center ice is Rushnak. Ahead. Cleared over the line by Nove. Rushnak moving in. Golfs it into the side of the net. And coming around is Ganey. 32 seconds left. Ganey fighting his way past the check. And he gets it again. Ganey just kept going after it. Now Goring. Goring over the line with Hartsburg. He takes the shot. Goring after it again. Hydersek. Hydersek. Giving it to Rushnak at center ice with 14 seconds left. Leute behind the net. There's it in the corner. Novi is on top there of Bork. Lafleur moves in. Five seconds left. This game is going to end in a tie. Starting out is Bork. The game is over. What an incredible performance by two hockey teams for three periods. I just can't believe the tempo we had in the final 10 minutes of this game. They just kept it up. The Czechoslovakians celebrating, really, what has been an upset tie against Canada, but nothing is an upset involving that team anymore. An unbelievable hockey game and uh, perhaps a, a just result of the game. You know, who says that a tie isn't a just result? Because it would have been a shame for either of these hockey teams, after the effort they put forward, to lose the hockey game tonight. Just a tremendous hockey game by both teams. The fans were very excited throughout end to end terrific pace terrific checking terrific passing great goal penny that everything that a hockey game would want